Here's what I did. Another Dakota Hawk user was saying in the kit that this main on the bottom of the rudder, this main part here, goes from three quarters to one and a quarter. On the plans, it just says three quarters all the way across. So I added this little filler piece on both sides to bring it up level with the rear spar. So I added that. This is the 1 16th as called for in the plans. This is the rib as called for in the plans. I added this. And my reasoning is there's no corner bracing here. There is going to be a gusset over top of this, but this joint right here is a butt joint. And when you put the actuator on here, that turning force there will want to pull that apart. Even though the rudder is balanced, there's still going to be a force here pulling this up and away from this. I wanted to join this somehow. It does have the gusset, but I'm adding this little piece of one quarter here just so that it overlaps that butt joint and you've got it holding across there and then the gusset will go over top of that just to make that stronger. That's the one part that I was worried about. I worry about that a lot more than routering down this a sixteenth of an inch and adding a gusset that's inset. That to me is negligible. This is an issue. So that's why I added that there. What I'm also going to do, this is the pattern, it's a little dink, and it's supposed to go on like that. Now, the two bolts are relatively close together. I'm going to lengthen this out a little bit, just so that the force isn't all in this one little area, it's lengthened out maybe an inch, I'm not going to add much, but just an inch so that that force is lengthened out a bit more on that. Right now that's only two inches apart there, so I'm going to go to three inches and build that up and it sits on there right like that. Another thing is that that one screw is so close right to that joint there that goes through there, it just worries me. That's why I added this to add the strength. That's why I'm lengthening that a little bit just to get the pressure off of that butt joint right there. Now it wouldn't be bad if you could add you know another corner block in there or something but that's right where the hinge goes so you've got a account for that hinge sticking right through and the hinge does come through. The hinge is two inches so it's an inch and this is only three quarters so it hangs out a little bit so you have to account for that as well. Anyways I continue on. Now one thing that I have to ask the guys with the actual kit plane, I was running into the same issue here. This is one and a quarter. This is three quarters. When they meet up there, you have to put in those quarter inch fillers on both sides. But then it's got a taper all the way down and it, I wasn't sure about the taper. So again, I'm adding a wedge in there so that the taper is nice all the way from three quarters up to one and a quarter. On the other side, I'm going to do the same thing is just add another block in there to raise it from that three quarters up to the one and one and a quarter altogether on both sides. So it's a nice bevel all the way down from one and a quarter down to three quarters, consistent all the way through there. Again, interesting to see if on the kit. Did you get a piece of three quarter to one and a quarter? Because 
the plans really don't show anything for that. They show for me just three quarter all the way through. And that's what we're working on today. We've got one of the tail planes, horizontal stabilizer and elevator basically done. I've cut the slots for the hinges into there. I've just got them fitted into place right now to see how they fit when you cut one to the other and they fit good. So now I will drill the holes. I'm not sure what everyone's doing here. I've crimped the pin so that they're in there. So I'm going to mount I'll probably mount them on the horizontal stabilizer so that they would be permanent there and then cover over top and then cover this separately and then add it. What's everyone doing with the covering on theirs? Whether they put them in on the elevator or they put them in on the horizontal stabilizer or the elevator and then slide the other one in after its um, fabric is on it and then bolt them through and another thing it doesn't really show on the plans at all I'm assuming we've got two bolts there two bolts there they use screws pan head screws and the only thing that I've got for a size is this one here for those screws and then lock nuts on the back because it doesn't say anything about lock nuts on there. So I'm assuming lock nuts on the back and then of course on the outside um, hinge the hole will be for a mount for the stabilizer. So there'll be a mount there and the stabilizer will come and, and there'll be a wire connected from there all the way up. So I'm assuming we do that and that's why I was thinking about doing the put these in, cover it, and then add the elevator afterwards after it is covered and then bolt it permanently into the elevator because uh, there really isn't much when it comes to the plans on how to do that but that's what I was thinking if we mounted it here permanently first cover it and then mount it onto the elevator after the elevator is already covered or with all this stuff on here do you cover this wing first then slide the hinge in and then mount it. What's, what do people do with the covering on these? There's a question. Got the hinges in. I don't have nuts on the bottom. I just put the bolts through or the screws through. That one there is going to be a bolt with that. Uh, they call it AT14. There's nothing in the plans. There's a little piece of aluminum that goes up, and that's what the strut brace attaches to. There's no plan for that. There's nothing in the plans that says what size that's supposed to be. All it says is one eighth by half an inch and then 214 inches, which means it's this one, that one, the one on the vertical tail, the one on the vertical tail, the one on the bottom because this goes down as well. I was looking on the plans somewhere it goes down as well. So it doesn't show what kind of angle it's bent at. It doesn't show how much it comes up or anything like that. So you're on your own for that one. Again that's AT 14. There's 12 of them. Tail strut attached. One eighth by half an inch by two inches. You need 214 inches, I thought it said here. So, AT14, 
need 12 of them, tail strut attach, 1 8 by half inch by 2 inches. And that's that attach right there. It attaches there, it attaches there, it attaches there and there and there and there going down to the bottom as well. Again, nothing in the plans that shows you how, what size or what it looks like, what the angle is coming up from there going to there. Um, so you're on your own for the AT14. Okay, I've got those three in. I'm just putting this one in now. So the hinge is in there. I've got the two spots marked where I'm going to put the screws. And then I just take a drill and drill through the wood and just start go into the metal. Then I'll pull the hinge out and take it to the drill press and drill it from there. Okay, I drilled those out. Can you pull this out? And you can see just a little nubbins. That's where you take it and drill out to full size on the drill press. And then you can drill these out to the full size, put that back in, and they'll line up bang on for you to put the screws through. And there you have one hinge attached. So that's the hinges into the horizontal stabilizer. Now I'll move that up. I'll attach the elevator onto there, mark and drill those, the rest of those hinges, so that it's good to go when you do your final uh, build, when you put them in all together. Those will just fit right in there and the screws go right through. Again, still don't know whether I'm going to put them in here permanently, cover it, or cover it first, then put them in. Let me know what uh, your thoughts are. Here's all the hinges in. I don't have them tightened. I just have, I don't even have the right screws in there. They just go all the way through, just. So they don't have nuts or anything on there. But that's nice. It works. So like I said, with the elevator, I marked them all. I drilled them just to touch the hinge. Then I pulled it all apart, pulled all the hinges out, went and drilled them all. Uh, while it was out, I drilled out the holes to the proper size all the way through. And then when they connect, they should just all line up. I had to use a little toad stabber to move it around a little bit, each of the little holes just to get it centered. And Yeah, it looks good. I'm happy. I might tackle the trim tab right now or I might go back and get the rudder set up. Um, the trim tab, um, again just two little hinges on that one that don't go into it. It just sits flat on the flush of that. So I might just throw that one on there as well while we're at it and then that tail feather will be complete.